Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome! We are here for some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here in Pokémon uh, Ultra Moon. Uh, so yes, very good stuff, very good stuff. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful morning. Um, <laughs> uh, yesterday uh, ended off on a pretty solid note, I have to say. Um, we got an unexpected... Um, oh yeah, I guess first I should ask. Uh, hopefully I sound okay, hopefully the volume is coming through. We had some technical difficulties yesterday that I believe I've addressed, but just in case. Uh, but I, can, I, I assume from your, from your emoji, Casper, that things are going off without a hitch. Uh, so that is good. That is good. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, yesterday went pretty well. Uh, we had an unexpected evolution of our Magnezone, which was quite wonderful. And uh, we did not lose anyone uh, taking on the Ghost Trial. We absolutely destroyed <laughs> the Totem Mimikyu. It was just gone. It was just absolutely taken care of. No sweat whatsoever. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're good to go. Um, now I do have... I've taken some notes here. Um... I have a couple of things to address uh, here at the start of stream, uh, just to, to bring up. Um, firstly, I spent some time giving Pokemon beans uh, so that this guy would give me rare candies, and I used those rare candies to actually do this. Um, I went ahead and evolved some of our uh, in-waiting Pokemon here. So we actually have uh, Gandalf is now a Probopass, uh, Doc Lewis is now a Crabomitable, uh, and then uh, we actually, uh, I did a little bit of extra for this one. Uh, for Freeze here, we, um, not only did we get it to evolve, to get the Razor Claw, uh, I mentioned, I believe yesterday, um, that we needed to get 50 TMs and give them to an NPC, and then in, in return, he'd give us a Razor Claw. Uh, so in addition to, um, you know, uh, getting the Rare Candy to level it up uh, while it's holding the Razor Claw, um, I went ahead and got a whole bunch of TMs uh, mostly not so great ones. A couple of good ones. A couple of decent ones. Like I got like protect and oops. Uh, I got like protect and and reflect and uh, shadow ball is a good one. Um, but for the most part, it was just kind of like whatever I could find. <laughs> I went and uh, gathered as many as I possibly could, um, so that I could get that razor claw, so that I could get Weavile evolved. So now we have like a bunch of new fun fancy uh, evolution Pokemon waiting in the wings for us. Uh, very very good stuff. Um, so the next thing that we're supposed to be doing today is heading off towards uh, towards Poe Town. Uh, well, first Aether House for them to, I guess, kidnap Lily and or not kidnap Lily, but to kidnap the young goose while kidnapping Lily. Uh, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. You guys have played Alola before, I'm sure. Um, but before we do all that, before we get uh, you know all hunkered down with with the plot and stuff, uh, we're actually back on Mele Mele Island because we have a few encounters that we can go and get. Um, the first of them being actually uh, down here in the ocean is actually a separate area uh, next to Kukui's lab. Uh, there's actually Meli Meli Sea. Uh, and we can actually get ourselves, if we can find the spot, yep, Meli Meli Sea, the fishing spot, we can actually get ourselves another um, Marini. Uh, so that's what we're going to start with today. I hope you guys don't mind. We're going to do a little bit of fishing. Hopefully snag the Corsola, which is what we're after. And then we've got to SOS battle it until we can get a Marini. So that's what we're going to start out with today. I thought that that would be a good one. Hopefully the Corsola comes nice and easy. Uh, we shall see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, aside from that, the team hasn't like uh, changed really at all. Uh, I may have gotten a couple of levels while I was running around, running into accidental trainer battles or wild Pokemon or what have you. Um, so uh, that's really the only difference uh, team-wise. Uh, good morning, Milo. How's it going? I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. Come on, come on. Give me the, give me the Corsola. Give me the Corsola. We're trying to get another Marini, Milo, just like we did the other, the other morning. But to, to fill out the evolutionary line, if you will. Um, on a, on a separate note, while, while I'm, uh, while I'm fishing here, um. Can I just say uh, I don't know I don't know who all in chat is a Super Smash Brothers fan, and maybe maybe you don't want to know this uh, you know spoilers for the next uh, upcoming DLC character I guess for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, but um, Sora from Kingdom Hearts is is coming to Super Smash Brothers uh, announced this morning, and I am so jazzed <laughs> I am so jazzed. Uh, my uh, Milo says uh, it's going very slow today, and I almost didn't make it out of bed. Aw, uh, I, I I feel that. I totally feel that. 
Uh, let's see, is there like uh, is there a different spot maybe that I can fish at? Because this spot is not giving me much luck. No, that's still Holly Outskirts. We don't want that. We, just, we want Melee Melee Sea. Is that the only fishing spot? Really? Okay, no. Here we go. There we go. Uh, uh, Casper saw it. Yeah, what a what a trailer. What a trailer. I was so jazzed. I was so jazzed. Um, I'm not like a huge Kingdom Hearts fan or anything like that, but it's just like that. That was like a hype character. Like ever, like that's a that's like one of those characters that like they can end on Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on a really positive note with, because I think that a lot of people wanted Sora. Uh, so that's very very cool. I'm very very happy for the Sora fans. Uh, it is it is a big uh, a big rip for uh, for Ace Attorney fans such as myself who were really really hoping for Phoenix right, but it's okay it's okay. I was hoping he'd at least get a Me Fighter costume, but you know whatever it happens. It happens. Uh, and to be clear, I'm still I'm still actually quite jazzed for uh, for Sora. I'm looking for Rema Raid. Hold up, do I have that full line? I don't remember seeing that on the list when I looked up what was here. Um. Let me let me make sure that I don't have that Remoraid. Uh, I think we actually might now that I think about it. Uh, yep, we have Remoraid and Octillery, so we are good. We are good. We can just scurry along, run away from the Remoraid. Maybe in a future. Well, I, I was gonna say that's the thing, Casper is like I don't know if there's like there might be another Smash Brothers, but it's not gonna be. At, there's literally nothing they can do in Super Smash Brothers that will be better than this Super Smash Brothers. Unless they literally do just continue to bring every character back, which I seriously doubt. I seriously doubt that'll be the case. Um, so yeah, like that's the unfortunate part. It's like, I would have loved to have Phoenix in this Smash Brothers, you know? <laughs> uh, but who knows, who knows? At the very least, I'd like, can we get like some spirits maybe? Like, I don't know, like the like little spirit mode where you collect the stickers or whatever. Uh, of different like characters. If we could get some Phoenix Wright stickers, I'd at least be that, that at least uh, it'd be something. Currently, Ace Attorney has zero representation in Smash, and I it makes me very sad. It makes me a very sad panda. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm not gonna complain. Sora looked awesome. Sora looked really cool to play. I am quite pleased. Uh, in case it wasn't clear, I'm a gigantic Super Smash Brothers fan. I I, I play it almost daily, so <laughs> um, Smash is kind of a, kind of a big deal for me. I guess you could say. Come on, just waiting. I was gonna say. I think that uh, I think that this Corsola is gonna give us a lot more trouble than the last Corsola gave us. Cause we found that other one pretty dang quick, and this one is uh, this one is being a little more stubborn. Oh, I don't want a Remoraid. I don't want. I don't want a Remoraid. Uh, but yeah, as aside from this fishing encounter, uh, we also have um, Calais A Bay, which is like at the other side of the um, of the, I think it's called Seaside Cave, uh, where where Nebby got lost and we fought the Ultra Recon Squad, all that. Um, so we can get an encounter there. There's actually Bagons there, of all things. Uh, ooh, we got a pearl string, nice. Yeah, there's actually Bagons. Uh, you can get a, you can get Bagons like as early as the second trial in this game, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Certainly a lot easier than getting them out of uh, Meteor Falls in Hoenn. So. I will definitely take advantage of that to get ourselves a lovely bag on. But uh, first, we gotta get this dang Corsola to show up. Come on, I know you want to. Maybe, I was gonna say, I wanna put speed up on just to like kind of speed up the process, but there's no way I can time the fishing with, uh, with speed up, so it's kind of unfortunate. It's kind of unfortunate. Come on, we just need that Corsola to show up. Give me the Corsola, baby. Come on. See, that's, I, I think I mentioned before when we were fishing for Bruxis, um, one of my least favorite things is that Pokemon just sometimes don't bite. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. Come on, Corsola. That's a magic carp. We don't want that. We don't want that. But uh, yeah, uh, aside from, uh, aside from like Sora and all that, all that jazz, uh, how are you guys' mornings uh, going, uh, Casper and Milo and anyone else who might be out there? Tell me how how your uh, how your morning is going. I would love to hear. Hopefully, it's a solid start to a solid day. I've been up I've been up pretty early myself just because I had to catch that uh, Smash Brothers um, reveal, which they decided to schedule just one last time, stupidly early, <laughs> just just to irritate me specifically. I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so. 
I am uh, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit sleepy just because I, I had to grumpily get out of my bed a little earlier than I usually like to. But that's okay. That is okay. I guess it's not too bad if anyone's out there is uh, one in the states and two on the east coast. That probably wasn't too bad. Uh, Milo says, well, I woke up, almost had a breakdown, read a few novels, bon appetit. Oh, wow, uh, what a morning. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry about the almost having a breakdown, that's really unfortunate. I hope everything's okay, Milo. Okay, let me run away from this random raid. Come on, where's that Corsola at? We just gotta find that, the thing is, we gotta find that Corsola, and then we gotta SOS chain it, which is unfortunate. Oh, you just don't want to work. I get, I get it, Mila. I feel that. I feel that. Work is lame. Work is lame. You just, you just play video games all day instead. That's um. That's 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 what the real the real play is. That's the real play is you just don't work and you just play video games instead. It works wonders. It works wonders. <laughs> no, don't don't take my advice. I am not. I am not a counselor. I am not a counselor. Do not do not listen to me. Oh my goodness, this Corsula just won't show up. It is a low percent, it's like 5% chance. Um, but gosh, it is, it is, just won't, it just won't show up. I want it to show up. Uh, Casper says, I'm okay, my body is sore though. Aw, your body is sore? How come, why is it sore? Have you been like, you've been catching them gains or something, Casper? Been working out? I know how it goes. Uh, Mila says, I feel, uh, I feel like, like I need a whole, whole week of just not working, but we are in a crunch for time for a report right now, and I'm, are exiting field work time, so it's gonna pick up even more. So I see, yikes, 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 yikes. That's um, that's unfortunate, man. I but like I feel that like <laughs> when you're just exhausted, and then like you have the inevitable like it's gonna get worse. It kind of like it makes even though it's not as bad yet, it, it almost makes it feel worse. Like like it's already bad because of the the impending workload. <laughs> I totally feel that. I totally feel that. Come on, where is the Corsola? Give me the Corsola. I'm like second guessing myself now that there actually is Corsola here. There should be. There should be Corsola here. I'm gonna double check just to be safe. <laughs> just so I don't waste all of our time, but I'm pretty sure there's Corsola here. Millie, Millie, C. Bulbapedias. Let me take a peek real quick. Real quick, just to, just to be safe. Just so I'm not like, I don't think I'm crazy. Uh, no, I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy. There is Corsola here. There is, in fact, Corsola here. 5% um, chance, level 10 to 17, Corsola. That's what I want. There's also Clam Pearl? Oh, but Clam Pearl is during the day. Okay. And it is... Oh, no, there's also they're also available at night. Okay, so yeah, I guess Clam Pearl is also possible, apparently. Which I don't think we have that full line, so... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Casper says, yeah, it's mainly my back and shoulders, uh, so, like, a very important body part. Yeah, the, the, that's the worst. That's the worst. Um, where I always get it because I do, whenever I work out, I do a lot of running. Um, like, I focus, like, really hard on cardio. So the part of me that's always really sore that really gets my goat is um, uh, stinking, stinking my legs. Uh, like, my, uh, <laughs> what the, my calves. My calves are always, like, dying <laughs> like especially like at the end of the week after i've like spent so much time working out across the week it's like oh my god i can't walk anywhere <laughs> uh but yeah so hold on let me get set back up here i can uh, if i can do it there we go okay cool uh all right uh fish some more yep there's corsola and clam pearl here i will take either either one they are both five percent which means a total of ten percent chance to get something i don't already have i will take it of course, something in general would be nice game. Thank you. All right, let's go. Clam Pearl or Corsola. Not a magic card. Anything but that. Anything but that. We run away from the magic card. Maybe I'll switch Pokemon so that that aura break doesn't have to pop up every time and waste more of our time. Um, let's go with go with, uh, how about Nem? That works. Alright, come on. Give us the Corsola. Give us the, give us the, the, the stinking Clam Pearl. Either one. I don't care. 
I don't care. We need both. I'd prefer I'd prefer the Corsola just so we can possibly get the Marini, but Oh, that's a love disc, alright. Uh, Casper says if only we could sprinkle uh, fish food or bait on fishing spots. Yeah, I agree. That would be really nice. That would be really nice. Give it the give it the wind waker, uh, the wind waker fish treatment. That'd be really cool. Or um, can, wait, can you do that? You can't do that in Sword and Shield, right? I've only played that game once. So I don't remember. I don't think that's a thing. It's in like Animal Crossing, I think. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't I don't remember how to play video games. I don't remember, but yeah, no, that that would be nice. Just like something to like change the odds, I guess, would be nice. Uh, I know there's like bubbling spots, and the odds like go way up at bubbling spots, but none of my spots are bubbling. It's really frustrating, actually. Come on, just something, please. Stop wasting my time. Every time, every time that happens, is like a full second of my life that I never get back. I have nothing to show for it. Oh my god, wishy-washy. Okay. There's also Mantikes here uh, in the, the surfing water. Let me see if those are available. I don't want to spend forever doing this. We don't have a Mantike, so I guess that's an option too. Let me see if I can surf around a little bit and maybe find a bubbling spot and or a Mantike, whichever comes first. Let's see here. Is there, an, is there a bubbling spot? That'd be nice. I should I should swim slowly though, so I don't upset the bubbles. Come on. Is there anything? Anything? Oh god! Don't. No, I don't want to fight you. Err, all right. Well, I guess we're doing that then. I guess we're we're gonna fight this this bloke. This uh very very um <laughs> showy this very showy bloke. Uh, hey, don't taunt me with that. <laughs> don't taunt me with what I can't have. How dare you? <laughs> this freaking guy. This freaking guy. Oh, I hear you want Marini. Well, look at look at this cool thing that I have. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it super cool? Isn't it so super cool? Wow, you're you're a cool guy. You're a freaking cool guy. Well, that's super dead. All right, what else you got? I was gonna say, don't you dare show me a clam pearl. Okay, cool. <laughs> I would have been so mad. I would have been like actually so mad. Oh my god. Uh, all right, let's put out. I'll put out uh, Z because we're we're falling behind on level. Nem is Nem is just absolutely crushing it. Nem is like definitely our MVP on the team right now. I say that with uh, you know the, with the knowledge that I've probably just doomed it to uh, to a, an early death. But I'm gonna I'm gonna play it like that's not the case. All right, uh, give it the lands wrath there, Z. All right, cool. Get out of here, Remory. Thank you for wasting my time, my friend. Okay, looking for either the Mantike or a bubbling fishing spot. That would be ideal. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -doo. I'm not seeing nothing. Does anyone know how the bubbling spots actually work? Because, like, I, I can't seem to consistently get them to bubble. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. Uh, Casper says, uh, why'd they put a glowy spot right where the Z's bu- I know, I was thinking the same thing yesterday. I wasn't sure if I should say anything. Uh, it is really, really uncomfortable. Yes, I agree. <laughs> it is very, very uncomfortable. Especially since, like, you see it every time. So your eye is, like, drawn to it, and then you feel weird for looking at a dog's ass. <laughs> it's just like, why would you do that? Why would you intentionally make me do that? The uh, yeah, inter interesting choice, Game Freak. Interesting choice. Man, uh, I, am, I am just not having so great a luck here, huh? I promise we won't spend- I promise we won't spend the whole stream just looking for a freaking course to laugh. I promise we won't. <laughs> But if I could just get a Clam Pearl or a Corsola, that would be lovely. It would be lovely. If we can get the Corsola to get the Marini, which is the end goal, of course, uh, it would be huge because they're hard to get Pokemon in general and we just have them ready and available for us, uh, you know, like whenever. So I want. I do, in fact, want. I feel like this is a good time to just like square this uh, square this away while we're in Ultra Ultra Moon, uh, while we're in the Lola game. Um, 
for for good measure. And like, don't get me wrong, the items are cool. Uh, I actually I actually took full advantage of the fact that you do get like crazy good like rare expensive items uh, via fishing. Uh, I did some some uh, some speed up fishing, which is to say like <laughs> spamming. Uh, spamming until it gives me like the regular, like it's just matching A and like hoping for the best. And yeah, like I got a whole bunch of these big pearls. That's how I was able to afford um, the TMs that I needed to buy in order to get that razor claw. Um, so yeah, uh, that's nice at least. But right now, all I want is a stinking Corsola. That's all I want. That's not so much to ask for. Just show me, show me the, uh, show me the little rocky friend. Man, I really don't like it when it does that. Especially when it's like all in a row like that. I, I don't want items. I've got plenty. I have plenty of items. Thank you. I don't need any more. <laughs> Just give me the Corsola, please. Nothing is biting. Oh my god. Maybe we do get that man's hike. Oh, that's how the outskirt. It has to be Melly Melly Z. That's not bubbling. That's not bubbling. There's no bubbling. Uh, Milo says, Woo, I've sent in a request to schedule an appointment. Look at me being a grown up. Oh, wow. Look at you go, Milo. Congratulations. Oh, I found a super repel. I don't know how I picked it up from all the way at the bottom of the ocean, but, you know, go off, I guess. Um, come on. Where, where are all the Pokemon at, though? There ain't no Pokemon around here. I'm not even, like, finding anything via surf. That's kind of weird, huh? I've not found a single thing in this water. Not a single, single dang thing. Okay, well, there, there's something. Is it a Mantike? If it's a Mantike, I can catch it. It's not. It's a tentacle. We have that. <laughs> dang it. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Magikarp. Wow. Wow, yeah, Magikarp. So exciting. We, we have, it's funny, we actually already have Magikarp in the Hall of Fame. We got a Magikarp into the Hall of Fame on our very first playthrough of the Forever Lock Challenge. How wild is that? That was, that was quite the, quite the grand undertaking. Have you guys ever grinded a, a Magikarp all the way up to like level, like 55 or whatever? Because I have. It's pretty great. That's just a Remoraid. Wah, wah. We'll find that we'll find this sucker eventually, you guys. I promise. I I, I don't want to spend too horribly long on it though. We're already closing in on a half hour, and I've I've done nothing but try and get this this uh <laughs> this damn uh, Corsola. Hey Laura, how's it going? Good morning, or well, I guess it's like not morning for you, but it's good morning for me. So I'm wishing you a good morning anyway. <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> we're um we're 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 trying to. We, we, we're here at Melly Melly Sea, getting uh, an encounter. We're trying desperately to find a Corsola so that we can get another Marini, but we are not having the best luck here. <laughs> we're having some rough luck. Um, hopefully your presence will provide us with the necessary luck to find what we need. That is that is what I would like to hope, Laura. If you could give us some, some good vibes, that would be much appreciated. Come on. Oh, come on. Like, really? That many times in a row? You're just not going to give me a, a Pokemon? Gah. Yes, Casper. <laughs> psst, psst, psst. Corsola. Come here, Corsola. Oh, that's a wishy-washy. We don't want. We do not want. We just... We just... Corsola, Clam Pearl, Mantike. Any of those are fine. I just... Honestly, like, I would take the Clam Pearl. I would 100% take the Clam Pearl. I know we don't have that full line. Because we've only been to Hoenn once. Um, so there's no way we have that full line. Just give me something. <laughs> I'll take anything. I'll take anything. Come on, game. Be cool. Stop giving me valuable gems. I don't want them. <laughs> Stop showering me with jewels. I just want, I just want the coral. I want the coral or the... Well, okay, if there's any pearl that I want, it's the clam pearl. That's what I'm saying. Stop giving me regular pearls. Give me the clam pearls. Uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> We're just... I mean, at least at least I'll be able to sell all these stinking pearls and pearl strings and all those for for some for some hot dollar, but that's not what I want right now. That's not what I want right now. Just give me Pokemon. Oh my god, just a magic card. Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is getting frustrating, you guys. It's getting frustrating. See, this is this is more like what I was expecting the last time when we when we got um, Marini, because uh, it only we only I think we only fished like five total times, and we just happened to stumble across the Corsola and then got our Marini really really quickly. Um, but here, this is this is what I was expecting the process to be like. Uh, so I guess uh, I guess it was just um, in the waiting. It was it was it was coming. I just uh, I got lucky the first time. Uh, nope, just Magikarp. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, hey, Laura, do you know, um, uh, since you're here now, uh, do you know how the bubbling spots work? Because I can't seem to ever get them to bubble. Uh, the, the fishing bubbling spots. Supposedly, they're a lot, the Corsola is a lot more common, uh, in the bubbling spots, but I have not seen it bubble one time. Not even one time in this area. And I do not know how to get it to trigger. I do not know. Uh, Laura says you just have to leave the area and then come back. Okay. Okay, let me try... I guess I'll try going into Kukui's lab real quick. Worth a shot, right? And yeah, and while we're surfing, if we happen to bump into a Mantike, that's also fine. I would be fine with that. Ooh, there's an item. Wait, I don't want to fight this guy, though. I don't want to fight you. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We just pick up the item. Per <laughs> wow, how exciting. How exciting. We got a pearl string. Wahoo. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. That's pretty funny. Okay, cool. Let's, um... Let's surf back to the mainland here. And we will we will go into Kukui's lab. We run into a Mantike first. That's fine. I would be fine with the Mantike. We can always come back and get Marini another time. No, we don't want a Winkle. We don't want. Do not want. Cannot have. We already have. Run away. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go inside of Kukui's lab. Come back out, and hopefully the fishing spot will 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 be bubbling for us. Ooh, hang in there, Citra. Hang in there. Oh my God, I'm like going to all the places except for where I'm trying to go. Just trying to find. Ooh, soft sand though. That's actually kind of nice. I don't think I have that in Gen 7 yet. Yay, we can boost ground moves. I could give that to Zygarde actually. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be kind of nice. I gotta say. All right, cool. Back into back into Route One. We'll pop into here real quick just to see if this helps, and then we'll come back out, and hopefully we'll have a bubbling spot. Come on, bubble for me, baby. Ooh, bubbling, bubbling, nice. Come on, big money. Come on, come on, come to mama. Come to mama. Okay, it's a Rembrandt. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> Come on, be cool, game. I guess I could go check the other fishing spot. That's frustrating, though. I mean, I know that, like, obviously it's all random chance, but gosh darn it. I was feeling so good. Let me, let me try and hit the other... I think there's another one up here, right? Right? Yeah, okay, another bubbling spot. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Corsola or Clam Pearl? Either one. I don't care which. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This is uh, this is something else. This is something else. Well, whatever. We, I mean, we like we'll have to do it eventually, right? Like no matter what we do, like we have to eventually get this done. So we might as well do it now, right? Now is just as good a time as any other time. So we will do it. It'll do it. Hold on, I'm gonna pop back into Kukui's lab. And hopefully reset the bubbling spots. And with any luck, with any luck, we can get ourselves Clam Pearl or Corsola. I don't care which one, just one of them. Granted, I have no idea how to get a, um, uh, what is it, the Deep Sea Tooth and Deep Sea Scale? I have no idea how to get those in this game, so... That, that could be signing us up for a recipe for disaster, but uh, we'll see.
Oh my god, seriously? You can get pearls from bubbling spots? That's really frustrating. That's so dumb. That's so very dumb. Come up here to this one. Can you give me a Pokemon, please? Seriously, I hate that you can also find nothing at bubbling spots. It doesn't bubbling imply that there's something there. <laughs> like there has to be something there that is causing the bubbling. Come on. <laughs> what is wrong with this? What is wrong with this game? Grr, I'm getting all mad. I'm getting all salty. All right, come on. <laughs> Get it? Because it's the ocean. Salty. There we go. Clam Pearl. Clam Pearl is our encounter. Let me let me verify which forms we don't have of Clam Pearl. I'm pretty sure it's all of them. I'm pretty sure it's all of them, but it, it's not what I wanted, but it will do. It will do. We don't have Clam Pearl. We don't have Huntail or Gorbis either. Um, I will go ahead and catch this and make it our Clam Pearl. <laughs> How does that sound? That is That is something. I will take it. Throw a dive ball at it. Hopefully that'll be enough. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mission accomplished. We caught a Pokemon here. It was not the it was not the Marini, which is unfortunate. But this will do. I will take it. Uh, Clam Pearl. I am open to suggestions for Clam Pearl nicknames. Just a Clam Pearl, not a not a Gorbis or Huntail, just Clam Pearl. If there's any suggestions, I would love to hear them for our little clam friend. Um, but yeah. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. I could call it Pearl. Well, I was gonna say, we have, we, yeah, I was gonna say, we have Pearl. We, or we had Pearl, right? We had, Pal we had a Palkia? Did we, did Palkia got, Palkia got in the Hall of Fame, I think. Um... But yeah, I actually like that. I like Pearly from Ace Attorney. That's cute. Uh, Pearl, Pearl's nickname in Ace Attorney. Yeah, I like it. I like, and it's a girl too. So yeah, like that works. I mean, I think a lot of people are gonna assume that it's probably just uh, you know a lame, a lame name for a Pearl Pokemon. But like, there is a reference there. It's just hidden. It's just hidden in plain sight. So, thank you for the, thank you for the suggestion, Laura. I like it. Uh, Sleepy is also a very cute name, Milo. I like that a lot, actually. No, no, I don't want. No, put it in the put it in the box. Put it in the box. Okay, so um, we will we will now head and grab another encounter. This one should be a little more straightforward because it's a it's a grass encounter. Um, we're going to. That's right. We don't fly. We have the Charizard. Um, this one should be more straightforward because we're just looking for a Bagon in the grass. Which, while it does have a low catch rate, we can uh, still do plenty of things. Uh, Casper says, by the way, you get the tooth and scale in Kony Kony City after becoming the champion. You get it from... Oh, cool. That's awesome, Casper. Thank you for letting me know. So it is... If we do happen to get another Clan Pearl in Gen 7, like, it's not that hard. I was worried it was going to be like you had to go fight in the battle tree or something stupid. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's that's good to know. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to Kalei Bay, uh, which is at the other side of the sea Seaside Cave, I believe it's called. Um, which is on the other side of the meadow, the Mele Mele Meadow. So we're gonna go get that real quick. Let me pop a, let me pop a repel so that we can get there relatively quickly. Um, with with that little interruption, if I can remember where repels are. D d d d d d d. Oh man, I know I have some. Well, not the one I was looking for, but that'll do. That'll do. Max repel. Hopefully that'll carry us all the way through the meadow and the cave till we get to Kale Ebe. Through the meadow. Oops. This this away. This away. Yeah, right here. Cool. Into the cave. Um. We already got our encounter here. We got to smooch him. I remember. Uh, so now we just come down yonder. What's over here? Ooh, shiny ball on the ground. Ooh, an expert belt. That's a great item. I'll, I'll take that. I will take that. That's very nice. All right, and we pop out here to Kalei Bay with a brand new encounter. If I'm not mistaken, there should be 
Grass. Beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, there is, in fact, Bagon here. So we want the Bagon. And this I can actually use speed up for, too. So we, we pop into some speed up. Um, and then we are, we are, we are good to go. Let me just get my things set back up. Okay, cool. Looking for that Bagon. Let's go. Repel's gone. We have the Wingle line. I think that's the only thing that we can get here. I'll, I'll keep an eye out, obviously, in case... Yeah, we have, we have Jerry, we have Faticate, so we don't need, we don't need Alolan Rattata, for sure. Don't need it. The Citra's doing its, its usual sort of, uh, struggling here and there, so I think I'm gonna save real fast, just to, just to play it safe here. All right, come on, show me the big on. Slowpoke, we have the full lineup. We have we have Fred, we have Tummy, and we have Pants. Uh, so we are good on Slowpoke. I think the Bagon is like it's like a low percent. I think it's like either five or maybe one percent chance, but it's here. I know it's here, and it's actually really cool because I think it has like the potential to like call allies until it can like actually get as, as high as calling for like a level 15 Salamence, which is hilarious. Um, so yeah, <laughs> fun stuff. Come on, show me the Bagon. Show me the Bagon. It's got to show up eventually. If someone wants to like actually confirm for me, uh, if you wouldn't mind, uh, what the actual percentage of Bagon is. I would be curious. I would be curious. I don't. I. I don't really need to look it up. I know for a fact that they're here, uh, but I would be curious to know. Whilst I, whilst I am perusing these these uh, these uh, grass blades here. Winkle. Come on, Bagon. I used to, when I was little, I said bag on, which uh, is not not correct as far as I understand. Pretty sure the general consensus is that it is bag on. Uh, Laura says it's 10%. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. Um, but wow, 10%. We still haven't bumped into it, huh? That means that theoretically, theoretically, the one out of every 10 Pokemon we run into should be a bag on, and we've seen none. We've seen, we've seen zero. It's not like day or night dependent, right? I presume it's just a, a flat 10%. Come on, Bagon. Come on out, my friend. Flat, okay, flat 10%. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate you all. So yeah, it's just being stubborn. I guess that's our luck with encounters today. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, Laura says, by the way, it's the one on Route 3 that can call, Sal call Salamence. So this one just calls Shelgon, then, I imagine. Or maybe just, maybe just Bagon. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. At all. That wasn't bad at all. I'm happy. I'm pleased. Okay, cool. So let's, um... A Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom! Very good. I wonder if that's low enough. I'm not quite sure if... I know it can't high roll or anything, but I'm not quite sure if that's the middle or not. Those, the HP bars in Pokemon are an enigma. Uh, let's try a... It is a significantly lower level, so we'll try a Nest Ball on it. Ooh, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got ourselves... Let's make this a Shell Gone, shall we? Uh, we will make this our Shell Gone. Uh, so yeah, Shell Gone. Wahoo! Uh, once again, open to nickname suggestions if anybody has any. 
Yeah, Bagon. Look at him. Look at him. He is a hap he's a happy boy there. <laughs> Yoshi. Milo suggests Yoshi. That's cute. <laughs> and Laura suggests Sheldon. Cute. Very cute. He's gonna, he's gonna be very ball shaped. Um, he's gonna be very ball shaped when he evolves because he's he's just a he's he's essentially a dragon inside of like a volleyball. <laughs> That's what it looks like, anyways. But honestly, volleyball is not a bad name. Hmm. <laughs> volleyball is kind of cute. Um. Yeah, I might I might actually I kind of like that. I know that I just sort of said that and then it just sort of came to me. But I, honestly, volleyball is not a bad name. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> Milo says says Wilson. I love that. I love that. Absolutely, we're doing it. Thank you, thank you for the suggestion, everybody. Yeah, oh, Haikyuu, that's a, that's a really cool name. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna name him Wilson. That's really funny. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> uh, I, lo I love that movie. That's such a good movie, Castaway, uh, with Tom Hanks. That's a good film. That's a very good film. Wilson! Oh, I love it. I love it. Very cool. Thanks, everybody. No, not add to party, gosh dang it. Every time. Every time, I tell you. Uh, ooh, it's holding a dragon fang, too. Nice. I will take it. I don't know what the percentage is for that, but that's cool. Like, uh, just snag a dragon fang for free. Uh, alright, cool. So that is, uh, those two encounters squared away. I think that's everything that I had, um, set aside for this morning before we jump back into the, the plot proper. Um, so yeah, we're, we're good to go. Um, we can, we can proceed. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks everybody for being patient there with the uh, with this, the the uh, fishing endeavor. <laughs> that was uh, that was something. That was something else. Uh, Milo says I purely watched it because my parents would keep joking Wilson, and little me was like, "What in the world are you talking about?" And then my sibling and I would joke Wilson. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> it's a good movie though. It's like an actual really good movie. If you haven't actually seen it, you should see Castaway because it's a it's a very nice film. It's kind of, the, the ending's kind of sad, but, like, it's still good. It's still good. Uh, alright, cool. So, we are good to go. Um, we are heading back to Aether House, where I believe the young goose will have been kidnapped, if I'm not mistaken. Let me put, um, let me put Z back out front here. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there we are. Plumeria, I, I presume I have to fight you. Back so soon, hmm? I wasn't expecting you just yet. It takes these dumb grunts way too long to deal with you kids. So I guess it's my turn now. What? I told you before. Next time you get in our way, I'm not holding anything back. Let's go, Plumeria. We fight you. We fight you. I like her angry stare. <laughs> she's she's so angry. Also, I love this. I actually love this track. It's very good. It's very good. Pokemon Pokemon knows how to music, doesn't it? It really does know how to music. If there's one thing that has maintained absolute consistency from Gen 1 all the way until even Gen 8, uh, music, freaking baller. All of it is very good. There is... Honestly, very few bad tracks in Pokemon. Very, very few. Okay, well we can we can absolutely delete the Salazzle with uh, with Land's Wrath. Oh, you have Dragon Pulse! No way! No way you have that! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh. It had Dragon Pulse. Okay. <laughs> no. Wow, my um, my overconfidence might have been showing there just a little bit, you guys. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, we lost Z. That is unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. I'll um, go ahead and pull it off of the layout. <laughs> Wow, all right, well, come on out, Nem. I need you to go ahead and take care of these guys for me. Bit the, oh wait, you're a fire type, what am I doing? What am I doing? Ah! 
Okay, we're fine. Oh, we're burned! No! That, that doesn't kill, right? At 16%? I forgot you're a fire type. I was thinking just poison. Don't die. Okay, good. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Oh no, I'm so nervous now. I'm so nervous. Um. Um. Oh god. Uh. Oh no. Um, what do I do? Hachiko could probably take a flamethrower if that's what it goes for. But it's also a hot, it's also a, ro a rock rough. <laughs> So it's not very strong. Um, okay, go Rockruff, go. Flamethrower, eat it up, eat it up, you can take it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What, what else, it has Dragon Pulse? I'm probably not faster. Rock Slide might kill, but, oh god, this is so scary. What the heck, Plumeria? Don't kill my other doggo, please. Ugh, oh, we're living. Okay, so Lazzle's down. Uh, if we... Shoot, I don't know if Burn will trigger on switch-in. I think it might. I think Burn might... Ooh, I learned a discharge. That's cool. Um, let me get rid of Spark. Um, I don't know if Burn will trigger on, on, on switch-in. I don't remember if it does or not in Gen 7. <laughs> uh, I don't... I, I had to figure out something to switch into... Uh, against the ga uh, the Golbat. Alright, you know, I could just stay in. I could probably just heal and stay in. I'll do that. Come on, Hachiko, carry us here. Carry us here. Oh, this is very... This is already immediately tense. Uh, Laura says it will it will lose at the end of the turn, so yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, got it. Thank you, Laura. Uh, Milo says, oh gosh, Phoebe is going feral, and so I keep going over her to pick her up, and she would purr in my arms in a bit, in a bit by wriggling away and then meowing and then a lot in the other room. Oh, what a cute kitty. What a cute little kitty baby. All right. Hachiko, finish this goal bat for me, please. Oh, thank God for the Evil Light, am I right? Okay. Well, that was an unfortunate setback. Uh, definitely not the Pokemon I would have expected to go down. <laughs> definitely not. Um, I'm going to heal that burn right away so I don't forget about it. Uh, Hachiko's learning Crunch. Ooh, that's kind of good, though. We get rid of Bite. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting to lose that Zygarde. That feels pretty bad. I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. We'll have to pick up another one. Um, what a shame. No, you cannot, you cannot evolve. You cannot evolve, Spook Show, I'm sorry. And yeah, I guess we gotta go figure out what we're adding to the squad. You can't evolve either, Hachiko. Alright, let's, uh, let's heal up your, your burn there, my friend. Do not want to forget about that. I don't think it'll come up, but just in case, just in case, heal that burn. Heal that burn, baby. Take your medicine. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, what an unfortunate setback. <laughs> I guess you're pretty tough. Now I understand why my grunts waste so much time battling kids. But if you want us to return the Pokemon, you'll have to come to us, alone. The boss is dying to meet you. <laughs> see you in, see you at our base in Poe Town. Alright, well, let's go figure out what we're adding to the squad. Because, uh, yeah, that was in a very unfortunate situation. Hey, are you guys okay? No, hold on. No, I don't... Do I have to? Can I go to the Pokemon Center, please? Okay, I guess not. But my youngest, We can't forgive this. Darn it, those numbskulls actually did something pretty clever for once. If we want to get the Pokemon back, then Lids has to go to Poe Town all alone with no backup. That's what they said, but that's not fair. Team Skull has taken over Poe Town. It's basically their private playground now. Oh, I know. If you're going to go, though, try and find this guy on Route 15 who's wearing a kimono. He might be able to help you get to Poe Town. He knows a whole lot about Pokemon that can travel across the water. Here, take this. Just get my young goose back for me. Ooh, piece of candy. Nice. 
All right, we'll do that. But first, we're off to the Pokemon Center. Uh, I'm really sad about the Zygarde. That feels really bad. That feels really bad. But it do be that way sometimes. Trying to think what will be what will be our best option among what we have. Uh, we will take a peek and see what's available to us. We do have all of those new um, those new Pokemon that we just got um, fully evolved uh, that I mentioned at the start of the stream. Uh, so those are all options, I suppose. Um, but first, let's say goodbye to our good friend here, oh, our poor doggo, poor doggo friend. <sighs> goodbye. Uh, you know what? I'm 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 uh... a. <laughs> I was going to say, I think that really what happened is that uh, he got so embarrassed, uh, or Zygarde got so embarrassed about his, his uh, as, as Casper put it, his glowing his glowing booty hole. Um, well, you, uh, they didn't put it that way, but I'm putting it that way. <laughs> or as Casper mentioned, I suppose. Um, and, uh, and yeah, just had to get out of, get that, had to get the hell out of Dodge. Too embarrassed. Too embarrassed. So goodbye, goodbye, my doggy friend. Feels bad. Okay, let's see. What are we adding here? Um, we already have steel and rock, so probably not the Probo Pass. Crabominable. We don't have fighting, and we don't have ice. Um, ah, I mean it's a Crabominable, so it's not the most uh physically appealing Pokemon, but uh, typing wise, it, it helps us. It would help us against Nanu, give us a fighting type user. Um, so that's, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Let's see, what do we have left trial wise? We have, we have Dark, we have Dragon, which we have coverage for. Um, we have Fairy, which we have coverage for. Very weak to Salazzle though, Laura points out. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, Hachiko was like the only thing that can really fight that thing. Um, and that's true. Yeah, Salazzle, it would just be another thing that Salazzle is very good against. I think there's one more fight against Plumeria at Vast Pony Canyon after after Guzma and Lusamine have already gone in to Ultra Space. I think you fight her one more time. So yeah, that's that's something to keep in mind for sure. Uh, and, uh, and Weavile doesn't really help us in that regard either. It's also still very weak to Salazzle. Um, but we, I mean, we do have Hachiko, though. We do have Hachiko. Uh, yeah, that's true. We don't have, we don't have a great option for Guzma, either. Maybe something to keep in mind. Can Hachiko learn a ground move? Um, maybe Dig? That sounds like something it would be able to do. I could ch I think I have Dig, don't I? Maybe I don't. I don't remember. I think I have Bulldoze, at least. Uh, let's take a peek here. I don't have Dig. Do I have... Wait, hold on. Did I... I must have passed, passed by Bulldoze. Uh, da, 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 just seeing if there's anything else. Uh, uh, yeah, I have Bulldoze. Uh, it cannot learn Bulldoze. So, no. Uh, at present, I don't have a way to get a ground move on our Rockruff, no. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe trying to find a ground type wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, let's see what options we have in the boxes. Uh, no ground types here. Uh, Casper says, well, uh, I guess Nem can take... Go well, yeah, uh, if that's true. That's true. Uh, Nem, Nem should be able to wall him pretty well. And then, like, honestly, with Discharge, can probably take out the Golisopod pretty quick, too. I don't. There's nothing that a Golisopod could do to a Magnezone, right? I don't. I don't think so. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I know that I'm not. I'm no Golisopod expert. If our <laughs> if our fight against him is any indication, but like, I feel like that's probably fine. Uh, this is just a sandy gas, so probably not this one. Um, let's see. What's the highest level we can do? It's based on. I think it would be based on Lila. So level 40. 40 is as high as we can go. Man, I would love to add the zero aura, but can't do it. Can't do it. Yo, <laughs> we could do the Alolan Dug Trio. <laughs> that would get us our dragon type back. <laughs> no, that's probably, I mean, it's silly and kind of funny, but probably not. Uh, we already have a grass type, so probably, probably not. It's just kind of funny though, the idea of it. <laughs> um. Okay, oh wait, don't we have, 
We do have uh, Mudsdale. Oh, it has own tempo though. It doesn't have stamina, or does or does it not get stamina until it's a until it's a, a Mudsdale? I don't remember. I don't remember how that works. What does this one have? No, this one has stamina. So no, we don't. We wouldn't have stamina Mudsdale. That sucks. Um, still Mudsdale's still good. Um, I could do Mudsdale. Um, let's see what else is there. Um. Alolan, Alola Marowak? Alola Marowak would give us a ground move, and it would resist, it would resi resist the Salazzle. Um, definitely an option, definitely an option. We don't have water or bug, we could do our own Glycopod with, uh, Alphonse here. Although I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of Emergency Exit, if I'm honest. Um, let's see, what's, uh, what's our best options here? We already have a fairy type. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I do like the idea just because it's one of my favorites. I wouldn't mind using. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have. Not you. Where's where is it? We, I know we have one. Yeah, Rabombi. Rabombi would be cool. I I really like Rabombi, but I don't know if I can justify it. I don't think the bug typing really helps us against. Well, I guess it would help us against Nanu. Yeah, that's that's actually a good point. We could we could use Yumi. We could use Yumi. Um. Hmm. Well, we have to make a decision one way or the other. Hey there, Dapper Kirby. Uh, Dapper Kirby says a fighting type would help round out the team for both typing and physical attack. That's true. That's true. We do have mostly special attackers, save for Hachiko. Um, so that's a good point. That's a good point. I would. Uh, we were talking about possibly doing Crabominable that I have here. It's a little low on level, but I could always get it caught up. Um, and it's, you know, it's not exactly the most exciting Pokemon out there, but it would help against Nanu if we could get it leveled up in time. Um, uh, Plumeria killed it. <laughs> Plumeria killed our Zygarde, uh, like literally just a few minutes ago. Um, it, uh, I, I was not expecting, I was not expecting her Salazzle to have Dragon Pulse. Uh, so that's, I mean, Zygarde went down. <laughs> Feels bad. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking either. Hmm, I would say, does Dark help us at all? I don't think it does. I don't think Dark helps us at all. Ice type help. I I think honestly, it's weird to say because I'm you know obviously not a huge Crabominable fan, but uh, Crabominable I think gives us our best like coverage because Crabominable gives us something against. Um, it gives us something against the Dragon Trial. It gives us something against the uh, Dark Grand Trial. It gives us something against. Um, uh, what was the other thing I was just going to say? Uh, fighting... It, oh, and also Hapu. Uh, ice ice will, will help help against her ground types, including her Flygon, which is the one who ended us uh, in Pokemon Sun. So having having an option for the Flygon is a good idea. Um, I think the Crabominable is our best bet. Um, but I'll, I, I, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll leave it up to you guys. So here's, here's the options. And two of the Elite Four, yes. Here are the options. Curvomitable. I do like the idea of Weavile, and that would help us. Not quite as much, but it would help us. So Curvomitable, Weavile, or um, we'll go with we'll go with how about uh, uh Rabombi? So Rabombi, Rabombi, Curvomitable, or Weavile. I'll let you guys pick. Sound off in the in the chat. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. As soon as we figure out who we're adding, I'm also gonna go get some more coffee. But I'll wait. I'll wait until we figure it out. Let me know what you guys have to say. <sighs> yeah, it's it's weird because I'm not usually the biggest fan of Chromobile. I've never used one, to be clear. Um, but it's honestly, it's like just typing wise seems to be like one of our better options. So, Casper says Chromobile. Okay. Okay. I mean, it, and the logic is definitely there. Yeah, like two of two of the elite four. Yeah, yeah, fight. I mean, fighting. I mean, it's risky to use a, fi a fighting, a fighting and ice against Elite Four. Um, you uh, what is it? Is it? I was gonna say, is it? Um, what does the ability do? Iron Fist. Uh, doesn't that make punch moves stronger? I think. Let, let me look it up. I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Iron Fist. Uh, yeah, punching moves are increased by twenty percent. Very cool. Yeah, so our Ice Punch will do some pretty major damage, actually. Uh, and we're, it's already a physical attacker, right? A 
attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It has, like, double the attack if it has anything else. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, freaking uh, Iron Fist, Crabomitable, uh, super powerful Ice Punch. Um, stab super effective against a lot of stuff we have to fight, so not a horrible option at all. Uh, yeah, I think I think I think I'm gonna go with with Crabomitable. I think that's our best option here. Um, so yeah, on to the team it goes. On to the team it goes. I'll go ahead and update the layout. Dee, 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 dee. Crab. Oh man, if I could spell it, Crabominable into slot six. There we go. There we go. There it is. Uh, let me let me tell you. One of the most difficult Pokemon to make a uh, to make the this not sprite, but the uh, the the like make the artwork fit into these frames that I made. Um, it's so long. <laughs> so I'm sorry it looks a little awkward. I knew that when this Pokemon was eventually added to the squad, it was gonna look a little weird. But hopefully you can bear with that. Uh, but yeah, so we'll get we'll get that leveled up. Um, probably for the most part like via exp share today and i'll do some grinding if need be uh later on today hopefully we can get through um hopefully we can get through po town no problem without without the need for it but uh yep there we go we have ourselves our squad um i'm gonna heal up real fast we'll move on and i will very very quickly run to grab my coffee so i will be right back you guys thank you uh thanks for thanks for helping me out there i appreciate it so yeah i'll be right back Okay, thank you for your patience, everybody. I am back. Let us let us scurry. Uh, we will we will make make the magic happen here, you guys. Oh, uh, I guess I'll I'll quickly I'll quickly mention uh, today's question of the day is what is you guys' favorite totem Pokemon? Um, there's a lot of totem Pokemon uh, out there, and there's even some different ones between um, between Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, but yeah, I'd be I'd be curious which one is your favorite for whatever reason. would love to hear. Um, okay, cool. So we did already get the encounter on this route, but we do got to fight this guy to proceed here. Um, I'll ask, what's a totem Pokemon? A totem Pokemon is, uh, they essentially are the gym leaders 
They're, they replace gym leaders in Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They are like giant versions of regular Pokemon. Um, like, for example, we fought Totem, Totem Mimikyu yesterday. Uh, Casper says Komo'o. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Komo'o is a good one. Komo'o is a good one. I like it. I like it. That battle's hard, too. Especially in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. They added Scizor as an ally Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and it's incredibly obnoxious because it, it hard counters your fairy type, your obvious fairy type uh, user. So, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate there. Um, Alright, uh, Lila out front is good. Let's fight this guy. Alola? <laughs> nice. Ace Trainer Yuki. Got the Gibble. Alright. Uh, we can hit it for neutral, I guess, with that, with grass. That's probably fine. Probably fine. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what my favorite would be. Um, I do, I do kind of really like the Wishy Washy in uh, Sun and Moon. It's not in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, to be clear. Um, ooh, can you chill? Um, hmm, what is my favorite? <laughs> I do like, uh, I, I mean, I like Rabombi a lot in general. So I guess I could say the Totem Rabombi in uh, the Fairy Trial in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, exclusive to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, that is a good one. I do like that one. Okay, uh, Alolan, Alolan Marowak's coming out. Um, actually, we don't have a lot of great options for that, do we? Uh, Hachiko? Hachiko, come out. We can, we can hit it with a rock move, I suppose. It will probably have Bone Club, so hopefully we can take that okay. Rock Slide, maybe a one-shot, please? Okay, not quite. Not quite. Don't bone club me. Okay, shadow bone. It's fine. Okay, finish it off, Hachiko. Alright, Marowak goes down. Very good. Very, very good. Doc Lewis hits level 16. Very nice. I'll have to see if I can get a hold of some more, uh, some more rainbow beans, um, so I can uh, hopefully get Doc Lewis's affection maxed out as well. That will probably come in handy. Oh, hey, it's Grimsley! Uh, as I recall, Casper's a big fan of Grimsley. I am also a big fan of Grimsley. A trial-goer, huh? And why would you be coming to a lonely, odd place like this? I gotta get Team Skull! Uh-huh. I see you've got your reasons, then I'll take you on. Tell, tell me, Uncle Grimsley is going to flip a coin. Will it be heads or tails? Neither. <laughs> this frickin' dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is so good, I agree, Casper. Astonishing. I had indeed been planning to have Skarmory snatch it out of the air as it spun in the sky. A loss is a loss. I'll give you a Sharpedo's info for the ride pager then. Ride it to victory. Thanks, Grimsley. Thanks for being in Alola for some reason. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to hear this from me, but I'm going to tell you anyway. If you press B while riding on Sharpedo there, it'll jet forward and smash through rocks like the ones there. And here's a bit more unwanted advice. Potan lies at the other end of Route 16 here, but it's thoroughly occupied by Team Skull. You shouldn't go there unless you want trouble. Casper says he's on he's on on a vacay. He's he's on holiday, as they as they say in the in the UK. Yes, I, I suppose he must be. Uh, it's just weird. Uh, the they, random random Gen Five love is quite random. I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say the the random Gen Five love is very random in this game. Cause yeah, cult between Colress and also Grimsley, it's kind of kind of interesting. They just sort of brought him along for some reason. I appreciate it, because I love Gen 5. It's just weird. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Hello. Let's fight. 
I'm working on the b to be the best in the world at swimming. Help me train. How does Pokemon Battle help you? Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess you have to tread water while you're battling. I guess. Or, but it doesn't show that. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Get him, Lila. Very good. Ooh, not quite enough to kill, though. Not quite enough. Waterfall. Alright. Alright, hit it with the magical leaf. Very good. Sea King goes down. No problem. Doc Lewis hits level 17. Very good. Learning Bubble Beam? Um. Sure? Better than Bubble. Better than Bubble. Not Stab, but I'll take it. 18 as well. Very good. Luminion, uh, we could stay out. Alright, give it another Razor Leaf there, Lila. Safeguard. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, I am unbothered. Okay. Finish it off. Beautiful. Well done, Lila. Oh, don't often get to put in some nice work with our with our lovely Steeny. Oh, Steeny's so cute though. Oh my god. I feel like I'm the only one in the world who like appreciates this Pokemon. Maybe that's not the case, but like I'm always like, oh yeah, Steeny's amazing, and then everyone's like, oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, come on, be cool. Steeny's so cute. Uh, keep the old moves. Don't need aromatherapy. Doc Lewis hits with level 19. We'll be caught up before you know it. Alright, let us scurry. We already got the Route 15 encounter, so we don't need to, um... Oh, I guess I need to switch to Sharpedo, huh? Um... Yeah, there we go, that's nice and fast. Nice and fast, love it. I forgot, I, for I literally forget what I was about to say. Oh, that's right, um... We already got Route 15. We haven't gotten Route 16, but we're not quite there yet. We're not quite yet... We're not quite to Route 16 yet. Once we get there, we'll be able to snag a new Pokémon. But... In the meantime, in the meantime, no encounters yet. All right, let's let's head up over yonder. This like this is still wait hold on this is still Route 15 right? Wait let me double check that real quick. Yeah, we're still on Route 15. So yeah, we need to get to Route 16 before we can catch anything. Guess we'll fight this guy. No matter how good you are at surfing, you can't ride the waves on a stormy sea. Don't fight the waves, you've got to ride with them. Cool, thanks, bro. Surfer Genis. Never heard of someone named Genis before. Okay, well that's unfortunate for us. We uh, we cannot really deal with that Mantine, at least not with any degree of super effective damage. Um, okay, sorry, just, uh, fixing some stuff here. Okay, cool. Uh, we switch to... Who wants to fight you? Uh, Bebop probably can. Bebop can fight you. I don't know if it has any flying moves, but better to be safe than sorry. Ooh, it does have Air Slash. Ooh, good call. Good calls. Uh, Casper says TM Acrobatics is on the, on this inlet. Okay, cool, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I will, I will make sure to try and snag that. Acrobatics could come in handy for sure. Nice, we avoid we avoid the surf. Very nice. All right, another moon blast, please. Yeah, no, I I greatly I greatly encourage uh, you guys to let me know when there's items of interest for sure. Um. I know that there's like, because I was looking up TMs, 
I did. I uh, for those of you who weren't here uh, towards the beginning, I did go ahead and get uh, 50 TM so I could get the Razor Claw to evolve our Weavile. Um, but I was looking at the list of TMs while I was doing that, obviously, and like figuring out which ones I could get, which ones I couldn't get. There's quite a few that are locked behind Machamp strength. Um, so as soon as we get Machamp, I might go pick up a couple of them. Couple of them because there's some good ones like uh, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, uh, to name a few. Uh, so yeah, definitely probably worth going out of my way to get a couple of those so that not only will we just have them on, on deck for ourselves, but like we'll be able to teach them to like any number of our Pokemon that are chilling in the PC as well. So um, not a bad plan. Not a bad plan at all. Okay, let me let me throw down... Um, let's see, Bebop's at 40. Uh... I'm tempted to throw a Spook Show out, but I'll throw Hachiko out instead, and we'll heal we'll heal her up. Uh, restore with Hyper Potion. Perfect. And hopefully Spook Show will level up naturally to 41 with the uh, with the dang with the dang XP share. Perfect. Acrobatics. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's scurry up northward. Hop on that ride, Pokemon. There we go. Zooming around. And I believe Route 16 is like, as soon as we get to the mainland, I think it switches over to Route 16. And we can grab ourselves another encounter. And I think I think the route that leads up to Poe Town is also yet another route. So we should be able to get two encounters. Uh remaining today. Very nice. Okay, right here. We'll come up over yonder. Here's, yeah, Route 16, Pokemon Center. Excellent. Let me heal up real fast, and then we'll head on over to Poe Town. Well, we'll get an encounter, then we'll head on over to Poe Town. You guys know what I mean. All right, let's see what's see what's ooh TM TM. I want, I want. Give me TM, please. Oh geez, I got a battle for it, I guess. <laughs> All right, fine. You have bamboozled me, you little girl. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty jazzed, you guys. I um, I uh, was able to first off, I got a new monitor, a new monitor, uh, a new side monitor for my for my setup uh, on my desk uh, that I stream at, and that's that's really nice. Uh, but on top of that, I actually got a free a free desk, a much larger desk than the one that I've had for the last while now, um, and I'm quite happy about it. I'm very very excited about it. Uh, it looks great. For those who are interested, I uh, I posted a I posted a picture of it on Twitter. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, I would encourage you to do so because while I don't post there often, I do occasionally post there, and I'm trying to post there more. Um, really excited about it though. Uh, really nice desk. Really really nice bit like way bigger of a desk than I had before. Um, so I'm I'm like this is actually my first stream streaming with this new desk and this new setup, new monitor, new everything. It looks. It looks very nice. It looks very professional and snazzy and comfortable and handy. There's lots of handy aspects to it, so I'm actually really pumped for it. Really, really. I know that's like kind of boring. <laughs> it's not like that. Like I'm the one, the only one who's probably very excited about that. But like, I really am quite pumped for it. So I'm telling you guys because I feel like it. Oh man, this mimic is just eating everything up. Come on, finish it off, Hachiko. Beautiful. Beautiful. Book show hits level 41. Excellent, did not have to actually use it, which is good. 
Uh, Milo says, oh my gosh, I've been trying to figure out what Pokemon may be like Casper's Quagsire sort of thing for me, and I saw Mimikyu, and it's like, Milo, I, you have a Mimikyu plushie even before you even knew much about Pokemon. Maybe you consider that a favorite. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, no, Mimikyu's a good Pokemon. Uh, have you seen, uh, Milo, have you seen the, um, have you seen the, the Japanese uh, Mimikyu, like, musical trailer it, so when sun and moon was coming out they put out a trailer all about mimikyu where it's just like it's like these japanese pop idols just singing a song from the perspective of how mimikyu just wants to be loved as much as pikachu is and it's really cute you should definitely look at or check that out if you can if uh, if someone in the chat knows what i'm talking about post it in the um post it in the forever lock discord so that milo can see that because it's very very adorable it's very very adorable All right, let's, uh, let's pop into this grass and get ourselves an encounter, shall we? If, if no one posts it, Milo, I'll post it myself uh, after stream is over for sure. All right, we have, we have, uh, we have a Faticate. We do not need a Lillian, a Lillian Raticate. We are good to, good to go. Uh, on the off chance this is faster than me, though, and decides to kill me, I'm going to switch to Nem real quick, and then I'll switch out to someone else for the actual proper encounter. Because I am not trying to get uh, outsped by this Raticate right now. I'm really not. Alright, let me let me switch over here. Hachiko, you've put in good work here, but let's put Nem out front so we can get our encounter. All right, let's see. What's what we getting? What we get? Ooh, Scraggy! Oh yay! I love Scraggy. I love Scraggy. I don't think we have Scraggy or Scrafty, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we don't have Scraggy and we don't have Scrafty. Yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. Yeah, we can uh, we can totally pick this guy up. I love it. I love it. Let's give it a Sonic Boom. We do kind of have to be careful of it, fight, fighting it with a Magna Zone, but it's just a it's just a Scraggy, so I don't think it'll be able to do too much damage to our physically defensive Magna Zone. All right, hopefully, ooh, Brick Break. Okay, how much does that do? Okay, yeah, we're fine. We are fine. Um, I will swap out just in case. Uh, we'll swap to Bebop real quick. Uh, Milo says, also, I didn't realize you have a Twitter. Uh, I gave you a little follow. Oh, thank you, Milo. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't use it a whole lot, but, I, well, I, I guess <laughs> it's funny. I do I do use it regularly, I but I'm mostly, I mostly lurk. <laughs> I mostly, like, 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 uh, like, just look at other thing other things people are doing. I very rarely post, but, um, I've, I've been a little more active the last couple of days on it. So, yeah, thank you for the follow, Milo. Okay, no, no, we don't want to move by. I just uh, muscle memory, muscle memory. Okay, cool. Let's throw a ball at it. <laughs> Let's throw. How about a dusk ball? It is nighttime after all. It is nighttime. Um, let's make this our. Let's make this our Scrafty. Um, I am open to Scrafty names. Um, I have a name for a Scrafty, but I don't want to use it right now for some reason. It's not like speaking to me. Um, so uh, I am open to Scrafty nickname suggestions. Uh, Scrafty has like a little, it's like Scraggy, but has a mohawk. So definitely, um, definitely cool. Pants is good, Casper, but we already named our Slow King Pants. So I don't want to double up on that. Uh, Milo says, oh yeah, I got you. I got a uh, Twitter to support my friend and their K-pop adventures. And now I use it for K-pop and three novels. Nice. Very nice. I, I, I mostly use it to like cover like, um, like uh, gaming news and stuff like that, like keep up with that. That and I also follow the Pixel Mavericks over there because they, they always post uh, funny good stuff uh, or, or just like cool stuff. So I always like to I always like to check out what they're up to on Twitter. Um, trousers, <laughs> Dapper Kirby suggests uh, trousers. It's not bad. It seems it seems a little prim and proper for a Scrafty though, don't you think? <laughs> like a little, maybe a little a little too fancy. I I mean I know it's just like the you know, it's what they call pants in, like, at least the UK. I'm not sure where else. Um, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Daffy Kirby says, wow, way to stereotype. Oh, why you gotta do that to me, Daffy Kirby? Why you, why you making me look bad? Why you making me look bad? Be cool. <laughs> um, how about... Um... I don't know, is there, what's a, what's a brand name for, like, pants? Does anybody know, like, <laughs> I don't know what other way to phrase this. Does anybody know what brand, like, the, the folks who sag their pants typically wear? Is there, like, a specific brand, or, or is it just, like, whatever? Is it just, like, actually just too big? Too big pants. Levi's? I could, we could name him Levi. Levi's not a bad name. That's jeans, though. That's, gene that's true, that's true. Sags? That's not what they're actually called, is it? Or is that just a nickname suggestion? If that's what the brand of pants is called, that's uh, a, little, a little on the nose, I gotta say. I kinda like Levi, actually, though. <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, Dapper Kirby. Uh, you are you are an amazing, amazing, an amazing person. <laughs> Okay, it's a suggestion. Got it. Baggy sounds kind of... Oh, Baggy does sound cute. Baggy does sound cute, Laura. Um... Hmm... Yeah, I can't come up with anything better, I don't think. I'll go with Baggy. I'll go with Baggy. That's cute. Thank you for the suggestions, everybody. I think that's what we'll rock out with. Baggy, Baggy the Scrafty. Okay, uh, I kind of want to fight this guy just because he's here. Level ups where we can get him are always nice. Let me let me heal up Hachiko just to just to skosh. Hyper potion. I would say I would like to. Or I'm, it's that that freaking clam pearl this morning uh, took up so much of our time. Um, I was ho I'm hoping to to finish off. The, the Po Town thing today. I don't think we're gonna get to Nanu uh, and like the Aether Foundation and all that stuff. I guess that'll be tomorrow. Um, but at the very least, I want to finish off Po Town today. So that is our that is our objective for the day. I do believe. All right, Hachiko, hit it with the Rock Slide. Gonna make you late to the bus. Get out of here, charge a bug. Oh man, if we, oh, man, if we'd somehow been able to get a Vicavolt or like a Vicavolt slot, like a Grubbin or whatever, uh, we, I, I presume then that we could have gotten the Vicavolt at Blush Mountain as well. Man, that'd be, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I would love to get a Vicavolt. I've never used a Vicavolt. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I have never once used one. Uh, okay, uh, Alolan Muck is coming out. We, that actually like kind of hard counters our whole team. Um... We don't have anything for that, I guess. I, 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 well, no, I guess just Nim. <laughs> I don't really have anything that's good against that. Uh, Laura says, I've used one in my first Ultra Sun playthrough. Uh, Vicavolt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, somehow, somehow, even though it's like really, because yeah, everyone always like, it's like, it's like one of those Pokemon that I feel like most people use on their first Sun and Moon playthrough. Um, and like just, you know, it's, it's just a really good Pokemon, um, but I've just never used one. I've never used one, not even one time, in either Sun Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, or in Sword and Shield, because I know they're available in Sword and Shield. Uh, not there either. Um, yeah, I just have, I've never used one somehow. The closest I've gotten is using the Charger Bug in this playthrough, or using the Grubbin, rather. Uh, that is the only thing comparable. All right, hit it with the Discharge there, Nim. Ooh, we get the paralysis. Nice. Minimize. Half tempted to send out Steeny and stomp your ass, but I won't. I won't. Flash cannon. Alright, Muck is gone. Doc Lewis is coming along nicely. Hopefully won't have to do too terribly much uh, much grinding. Power up punch, huh? Power up punch is 40 power. How much is rock smash? Also 40. Um, I like power up punch better, so I will get rid of rock smash. 
Uh, Loris' typing is also pretty good. Only weak to Fire and Rock. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a really solid typing. Uh, really, really solid typing. Um, I, I, I actually questioned if that's why they decided to change uh, the Totem Vikavolt into Totem Toga tomorrow in this game. Um, because, uh, yeah, like the Vikavolt is it's actually kind of hard to fight against because of its, uh, its really good coverage. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, with the with that with that encounter squared away, we can move on. I believe this is Route Seven, or no, this is Ulu Meta. Oh, I forgot! I forgot this place even existed. Oh, we get another encounter here. Very nice. Hi, Faba. How's it going? Oh my! If it isn't Lids, where might you be off to? To see Team Skull. To see Team Skull. You mean you're going to their base in Potown? Such awful thugs they are, tormenting poor people and Pokemon for no good reason. I swear, I just don't know what to do with them. And just look at me, would you? Here I am, taking the initiative to travel Alola on my own to check on how Pokemon are doing. I've been trying to think through this Necrozma issue on my own. That sort of noble dedication is what you'd expect a pr of a president, even. Don't you agree? Not that a foolish child could. Ahem, <clears throat> I, I mean, not that I would expect you to know. Anyway, do try to stay safe. Don't try and say I didn't warn you about Team Skull. Wow, that's not suspicious at all. Alright, let's go. Um, alright, uh... Well, I guess we can fight this lady, I don't mind. I, I kinda want the encounter first. Don't fight me. I just want... I just wanna... Dang it, alright. <laughs> we'll fight you. I just want the encounter. But alright, we'll fight. We'll fight this lady. Uh, does somebody want to look up for me? What level? What level is Guzma's strongest Pokemon? Uh, in 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 the Potown, uh, in the Shady House or whatever? I would be curious to know. I would be curious to know. That would be uh, something good to have as a reference. All right, hit it with the Rock Slide. Okay, good damage. Ooh, magic. Oh yeah, I, I should have figured you'd have a Grass move, huh? That's okay. We can we can tank one and then uh, finish you off with another rock slide. Very good. Very good. Uh, Laura says thirty-seven. Okay, yeah. So we're golden then. We're golden. I was worried about being under leveled, but if it's if it's only thirty-seven, then we should be fine. We should be fine. Ball. All right, let's see what's what's in this uh, Ula Ula Meadow. What are we gonna get? Oricoria. We already have that. Uh, we have the. We're not trying to get all the different forms. To be clear, we are. We have an Oricoria. That's all we need. Um, so we we run away from this uh, from this friend. We do not need it. Let us find something else. Surely there are other things to find in Ula Ula Meadow. Oh, Ribalbi, it's so cute! Haha, <laughs> it's so cute! Uh, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. I already have one. I already have the Ribalbi. Couldn't get away. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, can you, can you chill, maybe? Um, alright, let me, let me send out Nam, I guess, to, in I will intimidate it into, into either leaving or catching a hot flash cannon. Uh, Loris says, apparently his Golisopod new sword stance, uh, you were very lucky he didn't use it even once. Yeah, no kidding. That would have been horrifying. That would have been abs absolutely hor- why am I healing? I should just run. Run away. Couldn't get away. Seriously? Alright. Uh, yeah, no, that's- that is a very good thing, Laura. <laughs> good to know. Uh, do not let him set up because he will sweep our whole team. Alright, well, I guess I'm flash cannoning this Rabombi because it won't get out of my face. I don't like mean, being mean to our little buggy friend here, but it gives me no choice. Uh, let me see what's available in Ula Ula Meadow real quick. Ula Ula Meadow. Let's see here. In the Ultra Games, we've got... Okay, in Moon we can get a Patil... Or in Ultra Moon we can get Patillil. The whole, f uh, we can get Floet, it looks like. Interesting, interesting. 
Um, I think we have everything else here. Do we have the full full baby line? I'm not sure. Floet. Let me let me verify. I think we might. Yeah, we do have the full 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 baby line. Um, do we have Patillil and Lilligant? Um, Lilligant. Uh, we don't have Lilligant. Uh, we don't have Patillil. Yeah, so uh, that would be what we're looking for then. I think that's the only thing here that we don't have. Because we have Ariados, we have Ledian, we have the full Floet line, we have Oricorio, and we have Rabombi. Or that's in the red flowers. Is there anything else to be found? <laughs> There's a Grottle with Island Scan. That's kind of funny. Can I use Island Scan even? Or is that that might be post game only? Is that post game only? Does anyone know how Island Scan works? I would be interested in a Grottle, but I don't think I can get I don't think I can get one at present. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's look for let's look for that uh, Patil will. Although if anyone knows how Island Scan works, I would love to I would love to hear. I would love to hear. Maybe we get something really really cool out of it eventually. Don't went Oricorio. Uh Laura says I'm pretty sure you can you can do it from the start when you get the Poke Finder. Is it is it is it a Poke Finder thing? I thought it was something different. Am I confused? Am I mixing it up with something else? I thought it was like a, a like you had to use like the QR QR or something or other. I don't remember. I only ever did it once. I played Ultra I played Ultra Sun when it first came out, and then like one time for the Forever Lock. Um, and yeah, I don't fully remember how it works. If it's if it's not post game, I'd be down for a grotto, but I don't. I think it might be post game because I can't. I can't imagine it just gives you like a grotto whenever you want. That that seems like something that would be locked behind the end of the game. But I'd be down to just get a free grotto, absolutely. I, I could pop it in the menu real quick and see. By the way, uh, it's looking like <laughs> just based on how much time we have, it might be a longer stream today. Um, I think that might be the case. Uh, yeah, let me take a quick, quick look real fast. Uh, is it is it like a QR scanner thing? Which I don't know if that's going to actually work on the emulator. Yeah, it's not, I don't think it's going to work. Island scan. I don't have enough points. Scan QR code patterns to collect points. Okay. Um. All right. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. I suppose we could theoretically have our first encounters like done through that if I scan QR codes in my downtime. I will, I'll have to import the game into my actual 3DS to obviously use the QR function. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I save this encounter for a free grottle? Like, once I once I do that? Uh, let me know Let me know you guys' thoughts on that. On, like, it, does that feel cheaty? I'm not sure if that feels cheaty or not. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys. We'll... we'll We'll temporarily bypass our Ula Ula Meadow encounter, and we'll grab it tomorrow after we've decided what we're doing. Uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know you guys' thoughts on on the use of Island Scan to get unique encounters. I would be curious. All right, Rock Slide the Torkoal. Uh, Laura says most people usually allow one island scan per island. You mean like as a separate encounter? That would be interesting. Um, I'd be yeah. Like do you yeah? Do you mean as a separate encounter, Laura, or is it like you're allowed one island scan and it counts as that area's encounter? Uh, Dapper Kirby says sure. It might free you from the starter curse. That's true. I mean, I do love I love the idea of using starters in not the region that they're from. But that sounds really cool. Uh, Loris is not separate, I don't think. Okay, so it would it would still be our Ula Ula Meadow encounter for the Grottle in this case. It's just that I'm only allowed to do it once per island, so that would be our it would be our Ula. Well, it's just it's not a thing that comes up very often. Um, I won't. Uh, here's what I'll here's what I'll say. Um, I'm not going to make it a hard rule that I can only island scan once per island, but I'll just kind of do that if that if that seems fair. So what I'll do is tomorrow I will, or well, 
rather after stream today, I'll I'll get ported into our into our uh, into my into my 3DS. Uh, I'll port I'll port our save file over into our 3DS. I'll get the necessary QR points, um, assuming I can figure out how it all works, um, and uh, and then we'll try for the grottle tomorrow. How's that sound? We'll we'll start we'll start for the grottle, uh, and that'll be our Ula Ula Island scanned, uh, and you know maybe maybe that can be a thing that we do is like we we in between streams I'll I'll make that happen, and we can hopefully get some more encounters that way. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Obviously we're kind of screwed on Akala and. Melee melee at this point, but we can we can at least get like a Pony Island one. That'd be cool. Okay, Whimsicott. Whimsicott is coming out. Let's go into actually Spook Show can probably fight that. We don't have any poison moves, but I don't see anything that would. I don't think a Whimsicott would give us too much trouble here. Uh, give it the Shadow Ball. Wait, does Fairy Resist Ghost? I can never remember. I can never remember that one. Whoa, that did a lot. Okay, crit. I was gonna say, that's a lot more damage than I expected. Bam! Landed the critical hit. Way to go. Bebop hits level 42. Very nice. Yeah, we will we will save the Ula Ula Meadow encounter, and we will hopefully get ourselves a lovely turtley friend. That'll be nice. No, 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 no! None of this evolution. None of this evolution. All right, cool. Let's a go. All right, uh, Route 17. Let's see what we can find around here. Uh, I will go ahead and try and snag this encounter, but we'll, we'll like I said, we'll save the grottle for for the Ulu Ulu Meadow, and then we'll get not an Alolan little eradicate because we already have that. We run away instead. Run away. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Nem out front again because Sonic Boom is helpful. And we will see what we can get. I have no idea what's available here. Hopefully something that isn't just a little eradicate. Another Scraggy. Uh, all right. Well, we uh, we already figured out that we didn't have Scraggy, so I guess we're getting both Scrafty and Scraggy here. Uh, and this one is a girl. Um, so yeah, we will Sonic Boom. We will Sonic Boom again. Very good. So uh, this seems like it's probably going to go roughly similar to how it went last time. Uh, I will throw a Dusk Ball, and it is nighttime, so hopefully... It will just stay right in the ball. Easy as pie. We got ourselves a Scraggy. And this one, of course, will stay a Scraggy. Okay, so we have we have Baggy we have Baggy the Scrafty. So what is our what is our uh what is our Scraggy's name? Uh, learning Dizzy Punch? Ooh, actually, that's not bad. Um, normal, 100% accurate, 70 power. Um, honestly, probably better than Pursuit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, what to, what to name a Scraggy, specifically? Um... A girl? Is a girl. Um, girl Scraggy. Um, maybe I'll name you Levi. I remember I did like that name, so we'll, yeah, we'll name, we will, we will, this is how you spell it, right? Or is it, is it two E's? Oh god, I'm so, I'm totally second guessing myself now. Is it, is it one E or two E's? 
No, no, it's it's one e. It's one e. Okay, cool. I have confirmed. I have confirmed. Okay, cool. Let's. Uh, yeah, we'll name you Levi. That sounds like a like a feminine enough name, I do believe. Beautiful. Welcome, Levi. Send to the box. All right, let's let's fight some Team Skull goons. And yeah, like I said, we're probably gonna run a little bit long today because I want to finish out. Um, I do want to finish out the uh, the Team Skull base. So that's that will be our end goal. Finish that out. Hopefully defeat Guzma unscathed, and that is uh, that is the game plan for today. And then after that, I am going to stink and eat because I'm actually starving. <laughs> um, I, all I've had is I had a very small bowl, a very very small bowl of yogurt uh, while I was uh, watching the Sora reveal today. So um, I am so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna make some delicious bacon and eggs as soon as stream is over, and I'm highly looking forward to it. I hate serious people. <laughs> I, do, I feel that. I actually feel that on an emotional level. I'm serious about being a Team Skullgrunt, though. Let's go. Just caught me off guard there for a second. Made me giggle. Gotta love when Pokemon dialogue can do that for ya. Alright, Rattata. Oh, I didn't mean to lead with Nem. Oopsie poopsie. Alright, well, we'll just uh, erase this Rattata real quick and then switch out. Give it the flash cannon there, Nem. Ooh, sucker punch, alright. Easy peasy. Alright, and then Haunter is coming out. We will go into... Um... Hachiko, I guess? We can bite it, or uh, crunch it. Yeah, alright. It's weird, we have a lot of types on our team, but there's like still certain types that we kind of struggle with, you know? <laughs> uh, like we don't have a whole lot of great options for poison types. All right, Confuse Ray. Come on, Hachiko, you can do it. There we go, good girl. Easy, easy. Hachiko's an absolute legend. Most excellent. Are we are we doing okay health wise? Maybe we ought to heal up just a skosh. No, we're fine. Uh, let me switch out to. We'll do. Actually, Hachiko's probably good. Uh, Loris is for poison. You do have Magnezone, but it's weak to Salazzle. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, it's not. I guess what I mean is I don't have anything that deals super effective damage to poison. We can resist it all like every day of the week, but we don't have anything that deals super effective damage. I'm a grand grunt. The Pokemon Carnivine is my fave. And then she doesn't have a Carnivine. I remember this trainer. She she says her Carnivine is her favorite, and then she doesn't have a Carnivine. If I remember right. Yeah, Ekans. <laughs> kind of funny. Alright, Hachiko, get him. A little, little intimidated, that's okay. We'll, we'll get it with the rock slide. I need to hit that Pokemon Center soon, too. We are, we are a little, little ragged around here. Nice, we avoid the Mud Bomb, very good. Finish it off, Hachiko. Yep, I lost. I got crushed. I wonder what she says. I'm curious. Does she does she say anything about her not having a Carnivine? I'm a grand grunt. Carnivine is my fave, but I don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Yo, what's up? You want to join Team Skull? Hold up. Is that a Z Power Ring? For real? You're acting, all, you're acting on the Island Challenge? Or actually on the Island Challenge? Alright then, I get it. Come to laugh at us losers who gave up on the island challenge, huh? You showed up so suddenly you got the nerve to laugh at me? 
Let's go. I think I reversed their voices. Oopsie. Or maybe, or maybe they're just like really cool that way. And they're just really, really cool that way. Maybe they're a lot cooler than we thought they were. Alright. Double battles make me nervous. Ooh, we don't want Ghastly out there. That is not my favorite. Oh, actually, we don't want Hachiko out there either. Um, okay, we, we do some switching, though. We do some switching. Uh, don't pursue me or anything, please. Um, let's see here. We go out to... Uh, wow, this is actually kind of a struggle for us. Um, I think uh, Nem and Lila should be okay. I think. I don't see any overarching issues there. I hate overusing the Magnezone, but it's so good. It's just so good. Okay, assurance, high jump kick. Ooh, high jump kick. <gasps> no! Can you not? Can you not, my friend? Um... Let me, let me, oh, I can't discharge. Dang it. Um, that's actually kind of a problem. I need that, I need that Scraggy out of here. I hate double battles. <laughs> oh my god, I hate double battles. Does fighting resist steel? I don't remember if it does or not. Uh, does, does anybody know? Does anybody know? Does fighting resist steel? Okay, it does not resist steel. Alright, then I will, what I will do is I will Z-move Z-move the Scraggy and hopefully one-shot it. And I will... Oh, I could have just checked the, the freaking thing. It's literally right there. It's effective. Um, and then I will Hyper Potion with, with Lila's turn. Just in case. Just in case the Z-move doesn't actually kill. But it should. It's just a Scraggy. Alright, get him. Get him, Magnezone. I like that the shoulders get angry. It's really funny. <laughs> Corkscrew crash. Let's go. Okay, Scraggy is out of here. It's, it's out of my hair. Very good. Insurance. Fine, we can eat that right up. All right, so from here we should be golden. We should be golden. We can just uh, finish finish off the Ponyard. Um, I don't know, Volt Switch, I guess. I can go into... I don't really have anything I want to go into, though. I mean, Volt Switch might kill, to be fair, but... Um... I guess... Flash can it because I don't want to. I don't want to discharge. I want to hit my own Pokemon with discharge. So I guess we'll just flash cannon and whittle it down. I guess <laughs> whittle it down. Stomp. Maybe we'll get the flinch. Oh well, or the flash cannon will just kill. Apparently, that works. God, Nem, Nem's so strong. I think Nem is from. Um, I think Nem is actually from Crystal or something. It's from a it's from a Gen One or Gen Two game, I think. So that's probably why it's been leveling up like crazy, because it's a, the only thing on the team that's not from a Alola playthrough. So it has a different trainer ID. No fair! I hate strong kids like you. I'm not letting you in. You there, girl? Hey there, Nanu. How's it going? Everybody loves this guy, including me. Seems to me you're trying to go into Poe Town. You sure you've thought this through? You better be ready if you're thinking of coming in there. Ready to live as Team Skull. Or ready to take on Team Skull. You really think you're ready for that? I am. I guess everyone has their own reasons. I've got my reasons too for doing what I do. I'll have, to let, I'll have them let you in. If you don't make it, I'll be sure your remains at least get back home. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> I love him so much. Uh, Casper says, "Just a tired old man." Yeah, he really, he really is. He really is. He's so great. Nanu's, Nanu's funny. A very, a very funny character. 
good addition to the game, for sure. Huh, what's this numbskull doing here? What? Oh, what should we do? Forget about it, we've got this barbarical. I mean, we've got this barricade. Uh, Laura says, in my mother's uh, lang uh, language, Nanu means grandpa from the mother's side. Oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a correlation there. I wonder if that was like an in intentional choice on their part. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know the origins for a lot of the, like, you know, in most Pokemon games, it's usually pretty obvious, right? Like, it's like, oh, like Brock is like a rock. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Um, but yeah, I don't know what a lot of the origins are for the Alola trainers. They're, they're something of an enigma. Uh, like, I don't know what Nanu is a reference to, or like Acerola, or Mallow. Like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Dude, are you being hard-headed? Your skull must be rock. You shouldn't have come in here, yo. Now I'm gonna make you regret it. All right, bring it on, you numb skull. Probably, uh, Loris is probably Hawaiian. I mean, that makes sense. That's probably a hundred percent what it is. But I do wonder what's like the actual, you know, like what is the origins for all of them? I guess, I guess it's a, a question worthy of perusing the Bulbapedias at some point. All right, we'll hit the Spinarak with... Oh, we're out of Rock Slides. Uh, rock Tomb, then, I guess. Gotta hit the uh, the Pokemon Center here. I think we have to pay for... I think we have to pay, like, a whole ten Poke Dollars to use the Pokemon Center in Poe Town, but that is okay. Okay in my book. I want to go back in time and tell myself not to battle you. Yo. Back to the future, though. Let's go. That barricade made us soft. There's something to regret, all right. Hey, yo, barricader, no, we ain't letting you go. Aw, yeah. Team Skull Grunt. Got the Trubbish this time, all right. All right, well, we can handle that just fine. Oh, Milo's taking off. See you later, Milo. Uh, have a have a good time at your meetings. Ooh, hang in there, hang in there. Okay, cool. Come on, come on, Hachiko, get in there, get him, get him with the rock tomb, please. Not even half, huh? Let's uh, let's swippy swap into Spook Show, and we can give it a Psychic. We'll also resist the Sludge Bomb quite substantially. Trying to toxic me, I I see your game. Very good. We need that barricade after all. Come on, hold back a little. Alright, let's hit the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm happy to pay for it because I could really use it. I could really use a heal. Ready for fly rhymes in your ear, yo? But yo, what you doing in here, yo? Yo, it's darker than dark right up in here, yo. I'm getting scared like I met with a Fearo. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sure that's what you guys signed up for here, is to listen to me rap. <laughs> Ain't nobody around, I'm feeling kind of down, but I'm still holding it down here in Poe Town. Hey, yo, spin it, Spinda. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So listen up, intruder, she wants money, but it always eludes her. Team Skull represent, we can't pay rent. Had a lot of fun, but our youth was misspent. <laughs> this Pokemon Center is where we cower, but you can't pay bills, so we got no power. <laughs> if you give us ten Poke Dollars, we'll help you out by healing your team before your next bout. <laughs> nice. Sounds good, yo. <laughs> oh my god. I do apologize for that. <laughs> I do apologize for that. <laughs> Cash makes us perky, so even though you were a bit jerky, I'll heal up your team so that you could do worky. 
Uh, yeah, 10, po 10 Poke Yen for Amazing Rap. <laughs> there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed uh, my uh, the the both the start and end of my rap career. <laughs> All right, let's pop into let's pop into the actual base here and see if we can't hopefully do some some major damage to uh, oh hello uh, to uh, Team Skull. Honestly, I think if I remember all of the things right, I think we can. Um, I don't know if it changes. Hmm, I'm not sure. We might be able to just walk right up to the end of the, um, end of the um, the mansion. I think I remember the stuff for it, unless it does actually change the password, which I don't think it does. Or at least I've gotten lucky and gotten the same one like every time because I'm pretty sure I remember what they are, or like I'll remember when I see them. All right, uh, hit it with the rock slide, Hachiko. And yeah, game plan against Guzma, Magnazone. <laughs> that is the the start and the end of the plan. Magnazone to hopefully just like completely wall his team because uh, he will he will destroy me otherwise. He will absolutely destroy me. Uh, so land it. Okay. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess we could stay in. We could, uh, so land it. It's, it's poison, fi poison fire. Yeah, no, Hachiko is our best bet. And yeah, this Pokemon really is sort of an issue for us, isn't it? All right, well, we will, we will try our best here. Uh, Laura says, "I have to go. I have to go now. Uh, good luck for Guzma. Yeah, thank you, Laura. Thanks for sticking around and uh, and hanging out with us. We'll see you on the next one." No evolving, Hachiko. No, no, no. All right, let's power forward here and hopefully finish things off without too much trouble. I kind of want to avoid battles if I can, because we're already pretty substantially leveled. Oh, God dang it. All right, all right, we'll fight you and your Fomantis. Let's go. All right, there's Fomantis. We'll have to switch from Hachiko. Hachiko does not want to fight that. Definitely does not. 37, okay. We will swippy swap into... Oh gosh, we don't really have great options for a grass type either, at least not until Doc Lewis is leveled up. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we'll go out to Bebop. Okay, Leaf Blade, that's fine. Cute charm, very cool. All right, and we will give it the moon blast. Excellent, goes right down, no problem whatsoever. Book show hits level forty-three, very good. Learning hex, um, probably don't need it. We have shadow ball, so probably not. Keep old moves. Uh, Marini is coming out. Um, uh, honestly, Spook Show could probably fight that. Um, is this poison type a better option? I mean, Neb would absolutely destroy it, but I know. Let's see, I'll see Spook Show. Why not? We don't we don't get to use Spook Show all that often, so we might as well take advantage of opportunities where they have weaker Pokemon like this to uh, to use our Ghastly. Get it with the Psychic. Very good. Very good, Spook Show. No evolving, Ghastly. No evolving.
All right. Into the mansion we go, and yeah, I want to see if I can just skip right to the end if it'll let me. If I, if uh, my memory of like what the passwords and all that junk are is accurate enough for me to just sort of whoop. Come on, walk away, walk away. Very good. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to visit with Master Guzman, then give me the three secret passwords. Okay. Then tell me the today's first password. Which one of these doors does our big sis like best? It's, um, Poison Jab, I think. Then tell me today's second password. Which one of these does our big sis like best? Um, I think it's Serena? Seriously? Then tell me today's third password. Which one of these does big sis like best? Tapu Coco. So you think the passwords are Poison Jab, Serena, and Tapu Coco. Are you sure about that? No! Good. Glad to see you've got no bones about obeying our sacred traditions. I must have I must have missed it up. Is it um, maybe she likes Steeny too? I'm pretty sure it is Poison Jab. Um, Steeny. And then I'm pretty sure it's the Tapu Coco. I'm like 90% sure it's Tapu Coco. Man, I guess I, I guess I am gonna have to go get the passwords because I don't remember what they are. Dang it! I was really hoping to skip this part. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight this guy just to get this one. All right, aren't I? All right, fine. I was trying to be sneaky. Um, let's see. We'll go into. There's a lot of poison types here, so I'm kind of nervous about using these two. Um, I guess Bebop is fine though. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, fight me. I wonder which one of them was the one that I was getting wrong. I know you have to say no at the end. That's like the thing that you do. But uh, granted, I might I might also just be remembering from Sun and Moon, and it's possible they changed it from Ultra uh, because um, oh yeah, see, Haunter Haunter is not good for us. Haunter is not good. Uh, I don't know if it has like Sludge Bomb or something. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go out to Nem. I feel bad about this, but I'm doing it anyway. And Nem is already almost to level 50. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! I don't, I don't mean to overlevel you, my friend. I don't mean to, but you just kind of have to. You just kind of have to. All right, give it a discharge. All right, very good. Lila hits level 43, very good. Doc Lewis up to 27. We're making making progress with Doc Lewis. It'll eventually be be a valued member of our team for sure. Uh, Grimer is coming out. Um, I I guess I can just go into Hachiko just so I don't I don't want to just use Magnezone, dang it. <laughs> it's just it's really good. It covers most of our weaknesses here. But we'll, we'll do Hachiko to fight the Grimer. And give it the Rock Slide. Two hit KO, please. Nice. Nice. I will take it. Ooh, the defense drop, though. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Let's heal up real quick. Another crunch. How much damage? Too much. And another defense drop. I gotta switch. I feel bad about it, but out to Magma Zone again. If it weren't for those defense drops, I could have. Uh, I could have probably had Hachiko finish it off. But I'm not. I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games with the grunts when I still haven't even gotten to Guzma yet. <laughs> I am not playing games. That is for certain. All right, let's um, uh, discharge. All right, very good. Down you go.
Pick up this shiny ball on the ground, take a free iron. Why not? Okay, it's bound sweet. Okay, that must be. I wonder if that's the one that I was messing up the whole time. That. Ooh, don't fight me. Don't fight me. No, 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 no. Look away. Look away. Don't mind me, just hanging out in this corner. I don't want to fight you. Okay, cool. Okay, I, let's see if that was the one that I was missing then. Poison jab. Bounce sweet. Top of cocoa. No. Wahaha, you know all of our big sister's favorite things, and you even knew to say no at the end. Ha, yeah, you're one of us, Bonehead. Okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I literally just had to try that one that one last one that I wasn't sure of, and, and we're golden. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, now we can... I think there's one more battle up here before we get to Guzma on the balcony here. So let me heal up. Heal up across the board. And yeah, we're probably there's probably gonna be more poison types. Uh, maybe I should just put freaking Magma Zone out front. Let's be real. Let's be real. We'll just put Magma Zone out front. If we get a little over leveled, then screw it, I guess. Okay, yeah, there's one lady here. Oh, we don't have to fight her though. I thought that she would like catch us before we could get through the door. Yeah, let's skip her. We will skip. All right, here we go. Guzma's room. All right, I'm gonna save. I am so spooked. All right, here we go. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, big bad Guzma's here. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. Not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm here for the Pokemon. Oh, young goose, how sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. <laughs> You. And you came all the way here just for that, huh? Can't you watch it for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? <laughs> You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when a, when a machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice, hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can't fix you. <laughs> Man, he's so cool. God, I really do like him. He's really well characterized. I love Guzma. He is a great addition to the to the Pokemon fandom for sure. All right, here's his Golisopod. Our uh, our good friend. Hopefully we can wall it and maybe even one shot it with Discharge or something. Give it the Discharge there, Nem. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, Ghost Rider uh, 1002 is now following. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, Nem hits level 47. Bebop hits level 43. All right, Pincer. I forgot he ha I forgot he gets a Pincer. Um. That's going to have fighting moves, so I probably want to go out to Bebop. Uh, Ghost Rider says, uh, Nem is nice name nickname for Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's it's a little bit uh, lame in origin. It, I like to name my Magnemite, Magneton, and Magnezone, respectively. Mag, Nem, and Ite. So it just so happens that this is our Nem. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of lame when, it, when I spell it out like that, but that's where it comes from, in case you were curious. All right, um, we will give the Moon Blast. Throat Chop. I don't even know what that does. Well, it's not very effective, so whatever it was, we're good to go. Okay, half damage with Moon Blast. Not bad, not bad. Okay, finish off the Pincer, and then... I think all that's left after that is Masquerain, right? Which Hachiko can probably one-shot with Rock Slide. Doc Lewis hits level 28. Very good. Catching up. Catching up slowly, but catching up in general is, is, is a good thing. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, let's uh, go out to Hachiko then. 
I'm, I'm just glad that that Golisopod went right down to a discharge. I am pleased about that, for sure. Intimidate. Okay, I, I still think it'll go down in one shot. It's bu Bug and Flying. Okay, Bug Buzz. Resisted. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, though. Oh, we miss! We miss! Oh, that feels bad. Okay, I gotta switch. Unfortunate. Unfortunate miss is very unfortunate. Uh, back into Magnazone. It would have killed. I'm, like, like so confident it would have killed, but oh well. I am not, I am not risking, uh, I'm not risking our Rock Ruff life just, uh, just to try and make sure I get that Rock Slide in. Let's finish it off with a Discharge, and we'll call it a day. And easy, easy money, easy money. Mask Rain goes right down. And unlike our last Guzma fight, this Guzma fight went quite well, quite well. I know what Glycopod is. Anytime we fight Guzma in the future, I will be much more careful, <laughs> including this time. So very good, very good. Guzma, what's wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid now. Hey, we got we got the youngest back. Wahoo. Ch Eek! <laughs> oh, the genuine fear. Aw. That, 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 that kind of makes me sad because it probably means that he beats around his, his grunt. That feels really bad. I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. Okay, bye. Alright, we'll grab ourselves. Hey, a bug Neum Z. We take it. We take it. Uh, but yeah, so that is where I'm going to wrap up for today, you guys. Um, we will we will pick things back up uh, tomorrow morning at the usual time, at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, for those of you who are possibly new here and want to want to follow the challenge, we're doing the Forever Lock Challenge. Uh, we're trying to get an entire National Pokedex worth of Pokemon into the Hall of Fame, uh, but can, they're only applicable uh, uh, if they succeed in doing that while in a Nuzlocke. Uh, and then also, uh, that's across many, 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 many back-to-back -back playthroughs. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing here. You can follow, uh, follow us on, uh, Discord if you'd like. Uh, that's where we track all of our progress. Uh, you can check out the link in the panels, uh, on my, on my, uh, About Me page. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. Yeah, thank you, Casper. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. We'll be back to finish, uh, finish off Ula Ula Island, uh, do the Grand Trial against Nanu tomorrow. Uh, so I hope that you'll all look forward to that, and um, then we'll head off to Aether Foundation and save Lily. So uh, take care, everybody. I will see you on the on the next one. So have a good one. Bye bye.